how to create a circular gradient effect in Illustrator. Now, the same approach can be done in CC 2019, 2018, 2017, etc. Well, open an image, that's the first thing as well. So open an image. Once you've got your image open, what you're going to be using is the halftone pattern effect. And you can find that in the effect menu, effect gallery. Just go down there to the effect gallery and select the halftone pattern. Now you can modify the size. Now I'm going to go for a fairly large size here. Also set the contrast about middle of the way and the pattern type to circle. Circle is the key thing here. If you want a circular effect, just set it to circle. So you can see now the lines that have been created. And again, you can modify the contrast. Once you're happy with the design, click OK. Now go click the image trace button. You can find that along the top and that will turn it into a vector image. It might come up with a panel there, but now, once you've done that, you can see the vector design. You can also go to the image trace panel. You can find that in the window in the image trace, and you can modify things like the threshold as well as other color settings, etc. Now I'm going for just black and white. Now expand the vector trace. So just go to the same position above and click expand. Once you've expanded it, go to Object and then Ungroup, because what you want to do is ungroup all of those paths. Now, they'll all be individual white and individual black paths. Now, select a white path and then go to the Select menu. The reason for that is that there's a Same command. Select and Same Fill and Stroke. So you'll get all the white paths selected. All the white paths in, the, in this image will be selected then. Now, once you've done that, just go to the object menu and group them. Also, you can do exactly the same with the black. So just go and select a black path and then select same fill and stroke and then group that as well. Now, once you've actually selected one of those groups, you can change the color. So just select a color, just go over there and change the fill. Go to the color panel and you can find that in the window menu and you can change it from grayscale to RGB, etc. And you see there I've got it as red. Now that was the black, so I've changed it to red now. And you can do the same with the white. You can change it to green, blue, etc, etc. So just move that slightly aside and again just change it to RGB via the color panel and then select a color, so maybe like green. So now you can see the green and the red. What you can do then is you can actually rotate the pass. So I'm, this is obviously just a little bit before I actually show you the gradient effect. But just go through. You can actually move them, shift them, rotate them. You can distort them, scale them and much more. So you can create a whole loads of clashing effects with the circles. So you can just see the clashing of the, the circles there. You can shift it to the side move them around, rotate them, and many more transformations. Right, once you've actually done all those transformations, well you, what you can also do is you can add a gradient to them. Now the gradients, you can see the gradient panel over there, you can just see it's on the left. You can find that in the window menu. So you can go to window, get the gradient panel up, and just basically just go to that, click on there, on that little bar along it's through the middle so just click on that and the current selected path and that was the group obviously the group will all be turned into a gradient and what you can do then use the gradient tool which you can find in the toolbar and just shift modify the gradient angle as well as the length as well as the origin point for the gradient and you can also do that for the other path as well so you can just slightly shift it aside and select that path and add a gradient to that, just using the same approach. So both now are filled with gradients. And of course, what you can do with those gradients, you can manipulate the gradients, you move, change the angles, you can turn them around so they can clash, they can work together, you move it, just change the origin point. As you can see, I'm just changing that for that selected path. You can, of course, change the gradient as well. You can add additional stops. You maybe go and create a red and green gradient. Doesn't have to be a black and white grayscale gradient. You can also select maybe the radial gradient. So you can turn that into a radial design. So you've got that 
you can see then I've got a radial gradient applied. And again, you can go to the other path, select that path, and then move that over, and then change that also into a radial as well. And again, you can change the origin point as well as the length of the gradient. And you can see again, you can create some very interesting gradient effects for that path combination. Yeah. And you can again manipulate it, transform it, apply many other effects as well. So, and shift it to the side if you wish as well. Well, I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest and please subscribe. I'm always adding new videos. I'm always adding all the time. So, and also some comments. That's always great. Just get some feedback. It's always wonderful. Thank you much.